Hola alumnos y padres y bienvenidos a mi página de Wiki. Soy Señora Wagner. And I'm going to be taking you through the newly designed class Wiki for our Spanish classes and also for the English as a Second Language Enrichment Program at Fostoria Junior Senior High School. The first thing I would like to show you are the tabs located on the far right hand side of the screen and there are several different tabs that are available for students and for parents so feel free to browse through these at your convenience. We won't go through every single tab but we will try to highlight the ones that will be most beneficial uh, during the 2012-2013 school year. Back to our home page here, we have several icons and also a picture. We will go ahead and click on the first picture that is of myself and of my daughter and if you click on that it will take you to the About Me page and here I have just provided some background information, uh, where I'm from, some of my interests, and the kind of the, the uh, path that I took for my education and how it brought me to Fostoria. So if you would like to read through that at your convenience, please feel free to do so. Okay, back over here to the tabs, we're going to go back home. And the next item on the home page is a link to my education blog. And this education blog entitled La Vida Escolar, this is a brief overview of some articles that were read during a summer tech course taken through BGSU and there are a lot of really strong uh, supportive facts within the articles that I tried to highlight throughout and how they could be beneficial to education and to the long-term goals of many students. So please feel free to read through that if you have interest in learning about technology and how it can be applicable to your child's educational future. Okay, so let's go back to the course wiki. And the next item on the home page, what I would like everyone to be familiar with is the Drop It To Me account. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that blue box icon, it takes you directly to my Drop It To Me account. Basically, this account can be used for homework assignments, projects, anything that you want to send to me privately, you can send it through this Drop It To Me account. It does require a password, and the password is My Family Life all lowercase, no spaces. And once you enter the password, you can hit login. And then you will be prompted to upload the document that you want to send. And it's that easy. Hopefully this will be something that we can implement if there are excessive absences, family emergencies, if we have to use several calamity days. This is a really good way to make sure that assignments are sent by the due date and that there will not be any issues with homework not being turned in when needed or any assignments for that matter. Okay, so let's go. We can close that and back at the wiki. The next item here on the home page is this little black and white blocked icon and this is a QR code. 
you've probably seen these before, I would assume, in Walmart, Menards, if you've ever visited Target. A lot of these places have these QR codes available next to products, and that's frequently how they are used, but hopefully we will be able to incorporate these into some of our classroom learning this year. This QR code that I have here does require a code reader, and if you have a smartphone, you can actually use a smartphone. There is a free app, a QR code reader, that you can download onto your smartphone and you can use it to read any of these codes or decipher any of these codes. The one I have here, hopefully we will have our desktop QR code readers installed at the start of the year and the students will be able to see where in the world the code takes them. Okay, back over here to the tab area, we can navigate. We We'll now look at the 2012-2013 Fostoria High School school calendar. And here, again, this is on the Fostoria City Schools website, but this is a nice way to access it through the wiki. It's always available. And students will probably find this beneficial as well. You can see the days that we're in session, the days that we have off, end of grading periods, testing dates. So this will be highly beneficial for students who have to take the OAA and the OGT alike. So just make sure that you're aware that you can look at dates that we are not going to be in session. The next tab we have here is the About Me tab, and we've already visited that tab through the home page. So as you can see, the wiki provides different ways to access the same pages, just through different means of navigation. The All About Technology tab, I have provided some links here that will take you to some technology websites. Two of these are specifically for QR codes, the second and third one. And those are really interesting if you have some interest in creating the QR codes or what they could be used for outside of just product details or specifications. There's a lot of interesting information within these links. And the first one, have a technology question. If we click on that one, that will take you to Webopedia, which is similar to Wikipedia, if you've heard of that. And basically here, you can type in, if you have a technology-related question, you can type it in, do a search, and it will, just like Wikipedia, it will bring up information that you're searching for. Okay, so let's close that. We'll go back to the right hand side here through the tabs. The next tab is for parents and students. It's basic classroom information. We have here a new student checklist that's available in a PDF file. So if you're new to the district or you're still not sure what all is needed for the next year. You can always open this PDF file and see exactly what's needed and also check your fees if you are unsure of those as well. The next two documents, the Spanish 1 syllabus and Spanish 2 syllabus for the 2012-2013 school year. These will be provided to you in hard copy as well because I will require a parent signature this year just so everyone's on the same page and parents as well as students know what is expected, what is needed for the class, and also just to introduce what we will be doing this year. The fourth document, the ESL and Spanish building matrix, this basically is what we expect, classroom ex 
expectations for the junior senior high school. This every teacher designs one and this is one that I designed that was specific to my English language learners and also all of my Spanish students. Just exactly to what we do in our classroom. And finally the last one is progress book and this is also again available on the Fostoria City Schools website but if you have the syllabus that has the wiki on it, this is a quick way because every year I have parents tell me I don't know how to access progress book, where do I get this? So this is a really quick way if you have the class wiki, the URL available, you can quickly access progress book right from the classroom wiki. Okay, so back over here you can see we also have several web tools for the students that they'll be using this year and some of those will be Edmodo and this is something that you can also check as well. It's a message board and it also has a calendar so this would probably be beneficial to the parent as well. Glogster, GoAnimate, we have Voki, Wallwisher, Wordle, and there are examples for each one of these web tools. So if you, the parent, or the student, your child would like to go through these, you can kind of get a, an idea of what we'll be using these web tools for in class. The next website that I would like to take you to quickly is the only two clicks and once you get to that page I do have a link there. Every year I have parents say I'm not sure, I'm not fluent in Spanish, I don't know how to help my child. So if you go to this website and we will be adding more throughout the year you can see that we have provided a couple different guides to help the student and you the parent if you, if you like how to learn Spanish and what are some of the ways that you can do this, what are some of the best approaches and methods to trying to actually learn the language. So this is a really nice way to do that and that is only two clicks. And another tab that I would like to show you, a page we can go to, of course we have the screencast here but if you're listening to this that is what we're talking about, the screencast. So evidently you are viewing it as we speak. The last item here that I'd really like to emphasize for the parents is the useful internet links for parents, students, and other educators. And this actually provides parents with different links. Whoops, where'd it go here? There we go. This page actually has different links on it that also connect with language learning tools. So the first one actually it says a free language learning community. This is not only for Spanish but it's also for English. So this is a really good tool even if your child is maybe having trouble with grammatical expression. They can go to this page and learn to learn how to improve their grammatical expression in English and in Spanish. So it's a very powerful and useful learning tool. The next one Learn Spanish with audio podcasts and online tools is a great one and there are a lot of fun ways to learn. Palavea. This is one that you can actually connect with users around the world and you can actually speak directly with native speakers so it's really nice. And then Notebooks and Scribbler. They're both interactive guides that allow for collaboration and these would be beneficial to anyone who has an interest in education as well. They're sort of collaborative communities. Okay, so those were the main 
uh, tabs that I wanted to show you, and I hope that you enjoy the class wiki. And I look forward to a great school year.